uh, local 58. We're going to switch to uh, Gemini Home Entertainment. Um, and then I'm going to make sure I tweet out about it as well. Um, there we go. There we are. Cool. Uh, so let me pull up, uh, Gemini. There we go. So this is one of the early analog ones as well. Um, it does have a, uh, game you can play. Let's see. Is this the one that started with, uh, Dorseless? Dorselessness. No, that one just was on screen. All right. Uh, wretched hands. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six by four. So the playlist here isn't all of it. I don't think that might the game you should play. For sure. I think we need to watch a bit of it first. See if I can find it real quick while I look it up. It's uh, Alpine Dash Arts. Uh, Animal one. Wood grouse? Greater prairie chicken. Fuck. Native to Central North America, greater prairie chicken is well known for their prominent air sacs and protruding ear like feathers. Nice. Often engage in lecking, mating ritual. The males utilize their air sacs to impress. I like the part where you spin. During winter, greater prairie chickens have been observed diving into the snow to stay warm. How weird! I didn't inflate my air sacs and spin in a circle. Snow is a better insulator than open air. Is that why igloos work? Animal 2 Pog. <laughs> Draft. Once found all over the Americas, the small critter is now more, far more elusive. It's a good owl. These owls create large burrows for the nest instead of creating ones in trees. Wasn't there a uh, Disney Channel show or like movie that was about burrowing owls and like that was the thing they had to save for the environment? Can you remember what I was talking about? What was that? Hoops. It was called Hoops. This last one is everywhere in Minnesota. Good thing I live in Texas. Animal three.
Don't worry about it, Calibrated. This is another weird ass bird, I'm sure. Wood crawlers! Hooray! Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to tread most terrain without making a sound. Sounds like a bug. It's not very big. Yeah. Their preferred nesting locations are inside of homes of large families where swarms can adapt easier. You'll hear screaming. They stole their voices. Burn the bodies, lest they stand up again. Great. Nature's mockery. I'm gonna try and get a good screen region going. So good. So fucked up and weird. There it is. Just standing in the living room. cool behavior there we go. I'm trying to get the screen region perfect I hate their face Fake people. Hooray! This series starts off fucking fast, doesn't it? No fucking about on like, oh, I don't know. Is this going to go anywhere? Like, we're immediately in, like, we went from, like, nice nature documentary to whatever the fuck this is. Burn the house down? You probably want to burn the house down at this point. I have seen bits of this. <laughs> That's a big nope. weirdest animals. Is the giraffe really that weird of an animal? I'm talking about owl giraffes, not, you know. We're gonna have like an incoherent string of memes. Let me tell you this in Italian. Beep, 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 beep. Giraffes, the flight animal. Joe's in the garage. 
You know what I mean? Like, by the time I get done with doing all these, then, like, no one's gonna have any idea what the fuck I'm talking about. We probably do want to get Joe's in the garage. Uh... Uh... Does anyone have a link to that, that tweet? So that way people can know what this is. I need to just have this ready. Uh, the Joe's in his garage tweet. You do? Okay. Oh, air salad. Got it. Cool. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go and save this. Uh, and then edit bookmark, uh, Joe's in the garage. Uh, this is from Witch Doctor DB. This is what we're referring to when we're talking about, uh, Joe's in the garage. So this is a lot of analog quarries like this. Um, hello and welcome to Clever Pizza. Today we'll be starting with a typical training tape. Music stops. Creepy face, clever pizza, die lol, and it's got the static. Joe's in the garage. The screen region? Is it jacked? Oh, it's super jacked. Hold up. There you go. So anyway, I, I reference this anytime, um, Walton Files is just Joe's in the garage. Like they don't have like build up on plot. They don't have shock. Like if you want to see the most Joe's in the garage series ever, Walton Files, Joe's in the garage. Anyway, that that's what we're referring to when I say like Joe's in the garage. We should watch Walton Files. I know it's not like I know people don't like it. Uh Mandela catalog, I haven't seen the videos. I've watched uh or I've read over some of the, the, the stories, but I haven't watched the videos. Um uh, People don't like we can we can go watch the Walton Files as a separate thing. A little bit of hate watch, yeah. I like the Walton or um not Walton Files, the other one. Yeah, the the local fifty eight has like it's got it's got other shit going on. It does a couple like Joe's in the garage, Pets Cop. Just never really. I don't know. I couldn't get into it. That sucks. Anyway, uh, you do not want to get caught in a storm unprepared. To prepare your home for uh in case of storms, follow these steps. Walton Files is just Five Nights at Freddy's. They're not really doing anything new. And it's just Joe's in the garage. Reinforce your home. Sure. I, yeah, I didn't really take the Pets Cop, unfortunately. Early warning systems, sure. They want you to use Harbinch Technologies, the Albedo Alarm. Create a storm bunker. Ten by eighteen feet. Concrete foundation at least eight inches thick. <laughs> yep. Five nights at Freddy's, but the creator isn't homophobic. I don't know if the guy who made Walton Files is or not. Shortwave radio next to the hemisphere. So you want to put a hemisphere in the center of the thing.
It's kind of nice that we don't know if he's homophobic or not. You know what I mean? Like, we can just enjoy it without feeling like an asshole. In the event of a storm hits your home, it's important to follow these steps. Quietly take your family to the bunker. Your home does not belong to you now. That's normal and good. We're not talking about a storm, are we? Turn on the shortwave radio. Ignore all sounds uh, produced by the radio. These are auditory hallucinations. So you're right, it wouldn't work. Remain calm. Your tears are filled with salt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, hold up. Let me let me back that up a bit. That way the seek bar will be out of the way. All right, I'm going to hit play and then you guys do a screen cap. Great. There you go. Part three, after the storm. Ellie, thank you for the 14 months of support. If you believe the storm has passed, carefully leave your bunker to survey for damages. Your house belongs to Joe now. He lives in the garage. <laughs> If your house has been severely damaged, check for movement inside. Do you hear a chime? You are safe. The storm has passed over. Look to the field. Do you see lights? Return to your bunker. More fucked up if you live on the second floor. Congratulations, you are now equi well equipped to defend you and your family against storms. Storms! Hooray! that eight foot concrete floor reference I did not wait was it eight inches or eight feet what eight inches okay feet is a lot eight inches of concrete that's like a penis's worth of of concrete What penis is eight inches? Your ocean, our ocean is filled with mystery and wonder. Let's take a look at some of the secrets in beneath the surface. I saw this thing the other day, and I just want to bring it up. It's somewhat horror related, but just, you know. Um, so, like, boats have sunk in the ocean, right? That's a thing. People have died in the ocean. Their bodies never recovered. So I've been to the Gulf before. I went down to uh, Port Aransas, which is uh, on the, the Texas Gulf. So I swam in the ocean. Um, 
And uh, that never like bugged me. The fact that I was in water where there were dead people. Uh, but if you, if you know, you go to a pool, but there's a dead body in the pool, then it's fucked up, right? So it's a distance thing, right? They decompose fast in the ocean. Plus, they are eaten. Okay, so, like, where where is the line on it not being cool? Visual range? So, what they asked in the... the, the I think it was Reddit. It might have been Tumblr. But, like, let's say you have an L-shaped pool, right? And you're at one end of the L, and the dead body's at the other end of the L. Like, so you can't see the dead body. So you get in the water. Are you cool with being in the pool as long as it's over on the other side of the pool? It was Tumblr? You've seen this one? No. Okay. This was Tumblr. Okay. We talking fresh dead person? Like, uh, we got one from the ocean. We got a dead body from the ocean. We just put it in the, the water. You know, just that way it's the same kind of dead body. If you throw a corpse in a pool, that pool is probably filled with at least... Yeah, it's, it's percentage of dead body to pool in, like, the, the area where the water is, right? Let's imagine you just filled the pool with, like, ocean water to get out of the mindset of, like, chlorine as well. Like, what? where's the line for you? Is it, is it, is the corpse to pool ratio? I thought it was a great meme. I think it's right. Yeah, like, I was fine swimming in the water at Port Aransas, aside from the fact that I got stabbed in the foot by some fucker. Uh, so, like, first time I visited the ocean, I walked out into the water... And then I got, like, stabbed by some sort of, like, oh, jellyfish or something. Left the hole in the side of my foot. It was like a scar from it. And immediately started bleeding like crazy. So I had to, like, urchin probably. Yeah, it sucked and it hurt like hell. Uh, first step into the ocean ever. So I had to, like, wait for a bit. And that's how I learned that stabbing is an effective way of getting people to fuck off. Yeah, you're right. It's wild to me that whales exist. You ever think about that? Fucking big. Like, there's just big lads. Like, how? Like, big fella. Venom, not poison. What's the difference? The Marinara Trench, the deepest place on Earth. Yep, 
Yeah, I mispronounced it on purpose. Well, on the hungry side. It's not the trench itself. Okay. Unknown death. Big. Pizza. It's worth noticing that the music cuts out when creepy stuff happens. It's kind of a Joe's in the garage move, my dude. Joe's down there. Joe's on the bench. Or in the beach. In the trench. Ocean Man. Ocean Man is Joe. Joe is the Ocean Man in that song. Nothing can live inside the marinara trench. Two pizza eat. It's a fella. The deep blue. One of the garage core tenets is that making a video that has no purpose existing and is very clearly edited to be scary on purpose. Yeah, I think that is that is a key. Yeah, we should probably define like Joe's in the garage because it's not just like music cuts out scary face, though that is a lot of it. So what are the defining features of Joe's in the garage? Let's pull this up. So again, yeah. Typical training tape. Um, <laughs> Joe. Step one, Joe. Step two, garage. Uh, the music stops. Creepy face. Like, scary. Like, you got, like, everyone's face gets all fucked up now. And then uh, Joe's in the garage, obviously. <laughs> The text is unsubtle and clearly not part of the original. I think that's a lot of Joe's in the garage. So, like, Local 58, I don't feel like really did that. Because it's like... When it was giving us those warnings about, like, uh, don't look at the moon. Right? Super artificial, like, yeah, any of the weird shit with VHS. Uh, I feel like the stuff in Local 58 was like, the moon's fucking haunted, and someone's trying to communicate that. You know? It's borderline Joe's in the garage, for sure. The fact that people said maybe, I think, is fair. Uh, I dropped my dice. I think we have to watch Walton Files for like the 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 most Joe's in the garage. <laughs> perfect break. Yeah, we need to play some perfect break on stream. Uh We need a lipness test for Joe's in the garage. I think we do. Yeah. Um, perfect break tournament arc win.
I think part of it is like you can do a Joe's in the garage. I think it's sort of like a jump scare, you know, where it's like it's a a mechanic of like horror. It's the punchline, right? But um like Local 58 has other stuff building up, like the f driving around in that first episode. Um The weird face in the real sleep thing was Joe's... Yeah, it was... Yeah. Do we notice the fucking cryptid in the first? Yes. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. And also Local 58 was the first in the, the thing. And it was doing other stuff, but it was definitely, like, pushing that. It's it's sort of like the first zombie movie. It has zombies in it. And if you go back and watch, what is it, uh, Night of the Living Dead? It's just, like, kind of... Just zombies? Right? There's not a lot going on for it. It's a, it's a you know, classic. It's important to the plot but they're just zombies right it's like one or two i think you can compare joe's in the garage in local 58 to zombies in night of the living dead you know There's more to it than just zombies, and there's more to Local 58 than Joe's in the Garage, right? This is the uh, fourth episode. Joe's in the Garage is a very specific overused analog horror trope. That's not the right thing to link. Jack leapt over the river, Harry to follow together. This is actually really important, the names, so keep that in mind. Here you go. That's Joe's in the garage. Travel, follow the secret. Jack, the river, it's dead. Regnad is just danger backwards. First iteration tests, uh, he insufficient results, though, okay. Jack left over the river. Harry followed close behind. They're searching for a secret place. I hear you. Intelligence builds upon the previous iteration, utilizing complex wordage. This is the uh the the AI trying to come up with stories. Jack leapt over the river. An AI, yes. There goes Mary down the stream. Secret place will keep us safe. River flows, but not with water. Good. The intelligence seems to diverge from the original path and begins more complex branches of sentences. Jack heard it again. It's a voice from space. Jack, do you see me? I become something else. 
And like, okay, so none of this is Joe's in the garage because yeah, it's got like spooky VHS, but like there's not like a cut of sound and a creepy face. Like, those are pretty essential. None of this makes sense yet. This is all very important. Listen to the silver box. The stars are moving now. It's just ominous text. Do you see the hungry eye? Here I am. Wonderful. What is this in the background here? Joe. Of course it's Joe. Why did I ask? Yeah, Joe's in the garage is a specific kind of jump scare. I think that's a good way of putting putting it. Like it's not just like this doesn't make sense, it's just a jump scare with no. So I guess Pets Cop didn't really do Joe's in the garage. But part of it is also like this implies something. When when I when I messaged back this guy, um, where was it? I messaged him back at one point, and I go it ties all the uh, all the arc together. You know, I just didn't like Pets Cop. I'm sorry. I know it's a classic. It just didn't work for me. Uh, the, uh, Witch Doctor DB responded back to my thing saying, like he agreed that it tied together everything in the arc. <sighs> the Joe's in the garage analog horror jump scare thing is sort of the opposite of what j jump scares normally do. Like you're saying, where it's like a, a, um, a sudden, like, overstimulus. Goes no stimulus to all the stimulus. Whereas Joe's in the garage is the opposite, where it's all the stimulus to no stimulus. All of the text in the last video is super important, yeah. Music's good. It was too slow for stream, even at like, ex like faster speeds, it was just like, A lot of this isn't important, but of course we're going to get to the important stuff. What kind of porn are you watching that it sounds like this? One of the only planets in our solar system. With 71% of the planet covered with water, it's a miracle we can all fit. Nineties porn? It's weird that Mars is cold. Seems like it should be hot. Right? Like it's red, so it's warm, right? No, it's not. The great red spot is not an eye. Whoa, hold up. It changed the line there at the end. Was it to go back? It's an open wound. Okay. There may be a solid core deep inside the planet. This planet's primary uh, prominent wing rings are quite the sight to behold. They're 
the gateway. Wait, hold up. Again, like, was it J to go back? A planet appears here. You see it? This planet is classified as the ice giant. It's the coldest in the system. Unlike most planets, Uranus rotates on its side. A large storm rages in the planet called the Great Dark Spot. It is the lens. Neptune has been mutated. I'd like to know more about Uranus. The iris. Did I miss a thing? I mean, are you a visual learner? I mean, this is happening. I guess you can kind of see an eye happening. I missed the moon is actually a star. <laughs> Little eye starts to open up. Pluto is not considered a planet, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, who says the it's not exciting that the moon looks cool. Neil deGrinch Tyson. <laughs> Behold, don't look up. Lasers. Oh, Pluto is a planet, apparently. Smallest planet in our solar system. Get fucked. Get fucked, Neil. This planet isn't going anywhere. Pluto is here to stay. Neil Touchgrass Tyson. Fuck you, Pluto's still a planet. <sighs> so this one is actually what ties in the video game, if I recall correctly. Moonlight Acres has been devoted to family and creating memories. Many of the original camp buildings remain untouched since the initial closer. That's fine. Are there any twinks in this game? It's not a game. Oh, you mean the, the game for uh, the series? Uh, sure. Initial closer, always a good thing in analog horror. You can go hiking? That's great. Are there any twinks in the park? Archery. Yeah, the storm warning one as well. 
Don't forget our famous lights in the sky event. Watch the lights. No need to pitch. <laughs> right, that's an actual phrase. Sorry, I forgot that that was a real phrase and I was laughing at the idea of, of penis joke, but that's an actual phrase. I was, I was really excited about the boner. Feeling rustic? Stay at one of the camp's original cabins, which are frequently cleaned and cozy. Each and every cabin at Moonlight Acres is beautifully decorated. With the most up-to-date safety feature, you can rest assured know that security is in our hands. I mean, that's a, that's a still image if I ever saw one. Do not answer knocking at the door. Who's there? Joe. Is Joe a twink? We don't know him. I'm just saying. It's also part of the... Part of what makes Joe's in the Garage a thing is it has nothing the fuck to do with anything. The most important part of the Moonlight Acres legacy is its mythos. Tall tales have been told from person to person throughout the camp's lifetime. In 1935, rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting the camp began to make the rounds. You know how, like, Chad is, like, a football player? I don't think Joe is a twink. You know? And Poindexter is, like, a really smart guy. And Colin's a guy with a huge penis. These are just things that everyone accepts. Joe is... I don't think Joe is a name for a twink. Red if Rev was a twink. Do I look like a twink? Don't answer that. Don't say yes. Absolutely not. No, I'm not skinny enough. Screaming. Vessels. Adam Levich. Barry Johnson. Truman Michaels. Why the knocking sound? Asked to enter. Grampings. You look like an otter. Okay. I feel like we're just making things up. It said something right before it changed? Where? Otter is like a slightly heavier, hairier twink. Isn't that just like a hairy guy of average weight? It's the middle point between bear and twink. You look like the facsimile of a human being made to deter crows from hanging out in a particular area. A, a scarecrow, I see. Twunk is a thing. Sure. I get twunk. <sighs> a twunk is like a, a twink, but they've got like... Oh, okay. I guess this is where I need to uh, play the game.
Oh, hi, sweetheart. My wife is home. Thought I heard you sneezing out in the living room. Would you guys mind take if I take a quick break to uh, go kiss the wife? The wife is in the living room. All right, I'm going to go kiss the wife. Uh, give me two minutes, okay? I'm going to go fall in love with my wife a little bit. Be right back. Okay, mission complete. <sighs> Started loving the wife just a little bit more. What happens anytime I hang out with her? You know? It's a slow build up. That's why uh that's why we're married. You look your hair looks nice today. Thank you. Uh my wife got me uh some stuff like two years ago? Uh, and I just didn't use it. It was some nice hair stuff, uh, wax. And, uh, I think I'm allergic to the stuff that I was using. So I did download it, right? Wait, did I not download it? Oh, I need to download it. Okay. Give me a sec. Uh, okay, cool. So it's downloaded. It's a small game and also I've got uh fiber, so uh So this is an actual video game that they made. Uh you can find it on itch.io alpine slash or minus arts dot uh slash lethal omen. You can just search uh Gemini Home Entertainment game and you'll get it. Um get all oh, doom graphics we add a game capture there we go that's a bit better I never noticed that regnad uh, computing is danger backwards.
Lethal Omen. Oh, can you see my mouse? Really hope you can't. Yes, okay. We might have to restart the uh the game. Let me do that real quick. The the capture should say the same, but you won't see the mouse. Uh what zodiac sign? Uh Gemini is associated with what planet? Aren't all the, the astrological signs? Gemini is between twins. The moon. Okay, that's not helpful. Oh. Is there a reason that the, the mouse still... Ah, oh, there we go. By hitting escape, it made it go away. Constellations. I know, but like in astrology. Yeah. There's stuff. So this is set in that, uh, Moonlight Acres play. Wait, can I go out of bounds? Oh, no. I tried, though. Do I have infinite ammo? Yes. Good to know. Gemini is associated with Mercury. Okay. Gun shoot. So I need keys. Well, there's one. I can't cheese it by just jumping over the wall. That's unfortunate. I can't pick up the radio. But it's one of the things you need in order to be safe is the, uh... It's the radio, right? The the special um uh, was it fuck the stretching effect on the uh Do you even have a bunker yet? Do you even bunker? Flipped over car over here. Normal and fine. How do I feel about King of the Hill being from Texas? Uh, it's, it's pretty accurate to small town Texas. You know? West side entrance. I mean, I saw the key, but I'm, I'm just seeing if I can like, okay. All Geminis, all these Geminis here, I'm, uh, I'm an Aquarius too. So you got all the cabins, which you can go in and get things. This reminds me of that one, uh, oh, speaking of, uh, Dreadx, which I hadn't actually finished my sentence, so you wouldn't know that. Uh, connect the sleep image visualizer to your computer using the cord provided. Uh, the new Dread X is coming out on, uh, Friday. So I'll be doing that on Friday, assuming they give me the code like they're supposed to.
What's the new monster prom coming out? It's not a dating sim this time, really. I did horrible there. He was like right up on me. I mean, there's obviously a bunker there and stuff. Oh shit. up tree with a guy in it. Hey, fella. and we got a radio and we just got to stay in here and we'll be safe. I guess this is later. Oh, I'm out of ammo. And we can't go in the house? This is going to be fine. Help! Help me! Hey, you doing okay, man? Help! Oh, that's no good. gonna oh we can't go inside that's bad huh I did it easy clap There are three more endings. All right. Did I help them? I 
dry fired a gun at them. Yeah, let's do some secret stuff. How do I, uh... Do I have to control a delete out of this? Doesn't look like leaving. I didn't try escape. That would have been probably a good one to check. We did win. That was a win. We checked on the guy and uh, he was fine. And not, not evil. Why didn't I check to escape? I don't know. I'm dumb, man. Austin City Limits. Alright. So this time... Uh... What are... Okay, so how do I get the other endings? Your mouse is visible. There it is, thanks. Several secrets tie into later videos. Is it worth just coming back to this game once, uh, we know those things? I'm gonna try failing. You almost had it with the shooting the targets. Okay. Forgot what the last one was. Look up at the sky and see it was floating? Escape does work, by the way. I don't know what killed me that time. So, shooting the target to get you killed is one of the endings? Oh, okay. Stuck. That's against the rules. You're not supposed to use a gun for bow targets. Okay. You weren't supposed to die there. So wait, should I do it again? I feel like I should have died the first time when that guy rushed me because he was bumping into me, moving me around. Maybe, like, shooting the, the TVs helped? Helping. Let's try killing these guys and then yes.
Temperature strata after lights in the sky. Event cancelled. You might have just gotten attacked. Opens a path in the cabin near the start. Okay. Do you know which one? Between the cabins towards the woods. Devon chat. Real Devon chat. I didn't try going in this building. What? Original entrance sign. Israel? Campground photo. I was expecting him to make the sound. There's no interact button aside from shooting. Should be... Uh-oh. That wasn't fucked up a minute ago. We're doing both, watching the series and playing the game. It's just part of understanding this series. If, if, uh, analog core thing they're watching or whatever has, like, auxiliary material, like, Mandela catalog has the website and this has the gun shoot, um, there's a door by the TVs. Oh, there is a door. What the fuck? There's a door up here. What's the plot so far? Um, there's these things called wood uh, crawlers that are from the Marinara Trench. Uh, and uh, they... Uh, take over people and impersonate them? Luxray Tail, thank you for the 29 months of support. Uh, there was some event at this campground. It's a bit of an invasion of the body snatchers kind of stuff. Yeah, I call it the Marinara Trench because it's funnier. Because people are like, uh, it's <laughs> Mariana. I had to like double check in my mind I was going to pronounce that right. Yeah. 
Yeah, now I want some, like, pizzazz. Close enough without saying spoilers. I've only watched a bit of this. So I don't know everything. I do like me a good calzone. Sounds like the wife is cooking something. You don't say it, Marinara. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce the big hole in the ocean. That's how you pronounce the red sauce. One other thing I want to... Oh, right. You can see the mouse. One other thing I want to try is I want to try dying to the, uh... Darkness? Uh, we're, we're watching the playlist proper. I think I have to go and see the spookles. Gotta extract every little bit of lore out of this. No. <laughs> it just didn't spawn in. Speed run time, let's go. Get God. Wait, did I fail the level? I think I glitched it. Ignore the hallucinations, that may not be real. I think I broke it. I just won't move. There we go. Now we're good. Now you can't go back to the uh the weird tree guy because there's like a wall in the way. But I'm sure there's a way to do it. Can we go back in the bunker? No, it's locked. No, you can't access the uh, alternate route. I'm going to try getting absorbed by the sun. Or like see the stars in the sky or something.
orb. I love how just horrifying that scream is. Also, it looks like it's not actually getting closer. Yeah. Void anomaly. Try to escape this time. It didn't do anything. Uh, so I think for me to get any more progress in this game, we're going to have to watch more videos. So let's get back to that. Thirty bucks for that. <laughs> or you could get it for free on uh the website on itch.io. There's a wiki that explains the steps. Not sure you'll be able to find the uh, alternate endings without. How come mine didn't have spooky fog? Uh, I don't know. Just in case, I guess, if you can't play the game, you can still watch this. Yeah, just in case you missed this. Look at it. Doom was 40 bucks when it came out. Holy shit. Really? What is that now money? When did Doom come out again? He just straight up shot that dude in the dick. Nineteen ninety three. Uh, inflation calculator. Sixty nine dollars and forty one cents. But to be fair, also, uh, games back in the day were actually worth that. Like, Doom was a full fucking game. Is this the video with all the endings? This is, uh, the, the trailer. free chapter so you can try it. Bot is totally about this. Artificial intelligence is the basis of its video game engine. Revolutionary. Same sort of AI from the uh, computer program? So this is the ending that I ended up getting the first time.
Wait, there's no guy. Yeah, I didn't see that ending. This ending isn't actually in the game. Got it. <sighs> that was the movie. That was some fucked up shit. <sighs> Wilderness Survival Guide. Lethal Omen's a really good name for this. Jack Wilder. Unless if you're shit at your job, you shouldn't use the same name twice. This is... Jack is a name that we've heard. When you're camping, hiking, or hunting, it's important to stay safe when going into the wilderness. Be prepared. Basic knowledge to every wildlife explorer should know, including what equipment to have on hand. Store these items in a backpack. Sure. Not a garbage bag or a, a little plastic baggie to put, like, all that shit in? Thorns, ditches, and rivers could lead to serious injury if not accounted for. Knife? That's a ditch and that's a river. Essentials. Camping or hiking in private properties or hunting grounds could lead to serious fines or worse. Always make sure to have proper permits before entering an area. Bears. Cougars. Moose. If you come face to face with any of these animals, stay calm and don't run. So lay back away, keeping your eyes on the animal. You're not supposed to look him in the eye, though. That pisses them the fuck off. If the animal displays aggression, raise your voice and speak sternly. No. No. Bad bear. You think about what you did. No. Back away until you're out of view of the animal. That's a little bit Joe's in the garage right there. That's, that's Joe's in the garage right there. Bears in the garage. <laughs> Water hemlock. Nature's mockery. Causes hallucinations, sudden muscular paralysis, and body disfigurement, flesh decay. Great. If you make physical contact with any of these plants, seek medical assistance. Always keep first aid on hand, sure. Kind of looked like the thing in the game, yeah, that had the guy in it. Things to avoid. Sounds. Coyote house, yep. Recognize that from when I was a kid. Used to be able to, like, see the stars and you'd hear that at night. Coyotes are, uh, they'll kill your pets, but they, they'll leave you alone. They don't want anything to do with you. Cougar.wev. Auditory hallucination. Great. If you hear any of these sounds, leave the area immediately. 
do not move towards the sound. If you hear them, they've already heard you. Great. How do they record it if it's a hallucination? Shut up and don't think about it. Building a fire, what you need. Large stones, grass, twigs, matches, dry logs. Could be entirely possible that it's not a hallucination. That doesn't seem like an ideal place to... Like, there's no dirt. Like, that seems like it's going to just go all into the grass nearby, right? I I haven't made a fire like this before, but, like... Fire will spread fast. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were just going to roll with that. Like, yeah, that's that's real. What to do if your fire fails to start? Follow the lights. T posing out in a field. More like A posing. And screaming. This is like a uh, core fear. Like we want to, like, humans really, like, like, they, they have a, an inbuilt thing to, to feel compassionate and try and take care of people. But also, they have a fear of being near uh, disease or danger. So, like, if a person is hurt, then something that's hurt them is, uh, you know, maybe still nearby. So, it's like, you're still thinking, like, you could help them, but you're putting yourself in danger. This is like... You want to help them because that's built into you as a human, but also you want to run because that thing's fucked up. Something's wrong, you know? Also, yeah, Uncanny Valley. Like, there's something wrong here. The bystander deer effect is actually kind of a myth. Um, it's been somewhat disproven, just as an aside. Uh, I used to believe in it, but I've I've looked into more stories about it, more knowledge of that original story of the woman being attacked at the bottom of a uh, apartment complex and everyone just staring, and it it turns out that just that was a bad case study, basically. Can you imagine if, like, someone ran up to him and be like, dude, what's wrong? Like, didn't realize they were filming a thing. He low-key looks like he shit himself. It's probably ADR. Sounds legit. Dangerous infection. Wash wound with water and soap. Use antibiotic ointment or on injury. Forcefully for rip weight for an object from your body. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Joe's in the garage. <laughs> Not really.
the the bear transforming into the wood crawler was very you know Harbinge Technologies. So Harbinge Technologies are the people that told you to put the orb. Sleep image visualizer. I shot this. I remember this. Computer connection port. Yep. Yeah. Headset connection port, configuration panel. Elaborate in the game. I shot it with a gun. Setting up the sleep image visualizer. I can't dance too much because there's a thing in the way, but like... Did I get all the endings? I got a few. I didn't get all of them. What, what do you mean this is scat fetish music? Sleep image visualization. This is this is not the same one that said we're not allowed to dream. That was the other series. Oh hi fella. Are you the mannequin thing from the attic? Kinda seems like they trace the image of the thing there. Turn on the SIV main module and lie on the bed. It'll begin recording automatically. Oh, cool. So, like, it records your dreams. Good night. Friend. He waved at me, so I think I, I should wave at him, too. Good night. Yeah, actually can't do that because I'll probably knock something off. Resident sleeper. Four minutes of sleep from the past two guys. You're getting actual four minutes of sleep every time. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some trace stuff. The the the. F yeah. Or is it four minutes of dream? That's true. Upon waking up, check your computer for fully rendered sleep image visualization. Actual REM sleep cycles are real brief. Interesting. Please note all sleep image visualizations are automatically sent in legal property of Harbinger Technology. Uh, that person was asleep for... Wait, whoa, wait. Jack, Jack, there it is again. Uh, he was asleep for three days. He was in REM sleep for three days. I don't think it's... This is how porno start. Okay. Takes images from your unconscious mind to visualize them. These images do not represent reality. Good. 
Dreams cannot tell the future. Is that in the... L <sighs> I'm getting my series mixed up. Wait, was that actually Joe? <gasps> oh, oh, Joe is asleep! And then there is the, uh, the orb horizon thing. Then who is Joe? Joe Mama. You, are, you really gotta fuck me like that, chat? I was answering something that... Uh, I was repeating something in, someone in chat said. Games for kids. A list of fun, classic games to play with friends. Oh shit, we're gonna do this on stream, guys. Let's play some of these games. Game one. Alright, alright. New stream ideas. Let's go. Hide and go seek. Cause that's gonna be a hard one to do. That's gonna be hard for me to pull off. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright. Alright, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, chat. Give, give me a second. Give me a second to hide, okay? All right. Close your eyes and count to 10. I'm trusting you. Okay? All right? Here, hold up. Let me get the camera all set up so that you guys can actually see. I can go ch seek with chat. All right. Okay? Ready? Go. I mean, I have to hide in the shot or it really doesn't work, but there's not really any good spots for me. Ah, you found me, I assume. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> there he is, you found me. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Alright. Rev is a wizard. <laughs> I was scared, Rev. Uh if you raised your arm, the sh shirt would have hid you with the shadow fairly well. That's what you guys did. I was kind of hoping that like I could kind of hide because of how dark the, the background is there. But uh, it's like balsa wood or whatever. Like it's pretty freeze tag. I don't think we can do that. Please don't ask me to close my eyes on analog quarter day. <laughs> You're it, chat. Let's play tag and chat. All right, here's how it goes. Uh, Guard Galaxy Tail is it. Next person to talk after Guard Galaxy Tail 
uh, says something is it. And then it just continues on from there. Okay, go. Guard Galaxy Tail. Say something in chat. So I, so I, there you go. Oh, Celtic Foss. Okay, there we go. There it is. It's everyone in chat is just progressively becoming it from there on out. <laughs> it's really dumb. <laughs> No tag backs either. Sardines. Never heard of this one. Hide and seek except for one player is chosen as the hider and everyone else is the seekers. Oh, okay. When the seeker finds the hider, they try their best to hide with them. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, the game ends when everyone is hiding. I see. So everyone has to like climb into the closet or whatever. That's fun. I like that. That's all right, game. Feed the woods. Yep. All right, normal. All players wait until dark and your parents have fallen asleep. Uh-huh. Sneak outside very quietly and gather all your friends. Go into the woods, okay? Well, I can tell you cannot see the lights anymore. Okay. Scream at the top of your lungs. Okay, I'm going to go play this one. I'll see you guys later. Oh, it's lights in the sky. So are the lights in the sky the wood crawlers as well? Is the planet with the eye a wood crawler, but big? The game ends when the forest is fed. Okay. <laughs> Yay! That's, that's horrifying. <laughs> Good games for kids. That was neat. I like that. You mad? North Alberta Mining and Development. Sardines actually seems kind of fun. Uh, demand, demon, ah, tunneling. Controlled entirely via computer, the rock makes so it's safe to traverse areas normally inhospitable to humans. Looks like a regular ass cave, but okay. 
with, with four treads on the vehicle's body, difficult terrain is no longer an issue. Highly act, uh, advanced maneuverability. There's no need to worry if you get caught between a rock and a hard place. Nice. Two hydraulic drills. Cool. Depth of 37. Orientating camera attached to the vehicle provides a live video feed of the rock. Camera pivots 360 degrees and 90 degrees vertically via the control terminal. And zoom. Zoom! Like, surely I'm looking for something. I didn't see anything. I don't know what the depth is in, like, are we talking feet? The nests, I guess? Feet? <laughs> it's not like a little fella. You ever hear like a duck run across tile? It sounds like that. We've now gone down like a hundred something depth. Spookles? Industrial grade battery ensures a long life for the rocks. Special casing keeps the battery secure and allows to, for a reboot in the case that the vehicle is compromised. See, that's fucked. That's not cool. One hundred and forty-five depth. Flesh bit two. Fleshy. Why are seven and Boober tier two? Because they're so incredibly specific that most people wouldn't want to use them, but the people who were tier two have been around for a while and probably remember those memes. Yeah, I mean, that's probably nature's mockery. That's what they call the plants, right? That's different than the wood crawlers. Which seem to be related. Blood pumps through the garden's veins. The crops mature. It's the garden, not the nature's mockery. Okay. We've gone down another six depth. Uh, woodcrawler? Cool. So that's a woodcrawler, right? That's good. I like that. Friends. Those are gardeners. Okay. The gardeners are like, dude, can we keep him? Shifting tendons shape anatomy. Mutation of the heart. Woodcrawlers are the ones without the glowy eyes. Okay, cool. It's 
kind of unclear if the gardeners are un are different from wood crawlers. <sighs> they they seem like the same thing. Like you know, oh cool, I hate that. Depth one sixty nine and then rising or lowering. Oh wow, we're going fast. Burf. I didn't enjoy it. No, it was awful and scary. Don't like that. Rip robot. We got to watch the uh the back rooms at some point. Let me know, uh, especially in after hours, what you want me to watch. Um, people here in chat as well. Uh, we'll, we'll take recommendations in a bit, but uh, the YouTube algorithm likes it when you comment. And also, it's a good place for me to go and check. Deep root disease. Crow 64, I've seen a lot of people recommend. Crow 64 is dead. Is it in an ARG? Uh huh. Speed of the growth increases as the rooting stage progresses. Base of the root swells as growth continues and the surrounding area becomes discolored. I'm waiting a bit for uh, Monument Mythos so we can binge a bunch. Base cam is good for this kind of thing. Contact the bone. Good. The following demonstration will explain how many individuals contracted deep root disease. What word were you going for originally, Dark? What are we watching? We're watching, uh, Gemini Home Entertainment. A mole? Typically appearing on any normal exposed part of the bit, uh, body, arms, legs, neck. Bulbs are the first visible sign of deep root disease. Bulbs can range from 2 centimeters to 10 centimeters across. Uh, for the first few hours of appearance, bulbs feel hollow and may be pressed down with ease. Once the rooting stage begins, the bulb becomes solid and the affected area uh, may experience pain when the pressure is applied to the area. Area will become inflamed as the rooting progresses and the sores may appear around the affected area. Rooting stage has reached a climax. Lumps will appear. Inflammation then briefly halts as the sprouting begins. And we're gonna have a little body horror going on if you guys aren't aware. Diagnosis, you're fucked. Do you believe somebody you know has contracted deep root disease? Proceed with this very simple diagnostic check. For a bulb on exposed skin, for erratic muscle spasms, their home for unrecognizable smells. Ask. If they recall their mother's name. If they have stopped dreaming. If they have felt new bones. Ask them if they want to feel my bone. If four or more of these tests describe an individual you know, they have become something else. Proceed with protective safety measures. New bones just dropped. Oh fuck, someone got to it before I did.
Good. Normal. Sometimes, like, I get kicky legs at night, where, like, I, my legs just need to move, and they can't. Um, that's what it feels like, you know? Just laying there, and then my legs are like, we must run! Restless leg syndrome. Yeah, it means that I need to move around a bit. <laughs> Once I started, like, skateboarding, it kind of stopped being a thing as much. Weighted blank, uh, weighted blanket does help. My wife has one, and like, legitimately, anytime like I'm tired but I can't sleep, she'll just like put it on me, and it, it knocks me right the fuck out. Like, if you have trouble sleeping, get you a, a weighted blanket. Don't have to be heavy, but they're fucking good. Just one. What's happening is, I haven't heard from my limbs in a while, I should check on them. I guess. I mean, a cat is basically a weighted blanket, anyway. Oh, look at that. Developments throughout October have led to drastic re- Oh, cool. Look at them graphics. A video game demonstration created to showcase the graphical capabilities possible with recent advancements. Holy shit, dude. Look at that, man. That was- that was some good-ass graphics. I could- I could smell the leaves, man. <sighs> 15 simulations have been run during the month of October. October seems important. Each test is giving a new insight. With help of ACL and our new client, we are expected to pass all of our competitors within the year in the field of graphics, RAM, and processing power. New client? New insight in October. By running hypothetical scenarios through the ACL system, we have successfully avoided 23 technological failures in the working all computer's future. This would not have been possible without the support and wisdom from our client, who spearheaded our artificial computer learnings project. Okay, so the AI. The AI was uh, helped along by the, the client. All communications made uh, with our client through the month of October have been recorded on uh, via the ACL monitoring room, which will now be showcased in this tape. Hey, uh, that's not how anything should look. Great my setup. Mystery Flesh Pits, uh, computers online. It's just learned aesthetic. It's trying. I did play Hylix. Uh, it's on After Hours. I played one and two. I liked one more, I think.
someone untwizzled the feathers. <laughs> Mary sees the gateway die. Sleeping ones are eaten whole. The vessel floats into the maw. Where is this happening? The jaw unhinges. Yeah, uh, things have changed quite a bit since Jack jumped over the river. You can actually hear it speaking. Why unrestricted interacts? This is bad for kids. Imagine, like, coming upon this and thinking it was real. This is a uh, this is a horror series called uh, Gemini Home Entertainment, and this is me in the corner. Jack is with us. That's that's me in the spotlight. Losing my religion. We, I, I made that joke a couple uh, streams ago. I, did, I was like, should I do it again? Some people might not have heard that joke, and it was funny the first time. Will it be funny the second time? And chat's like, yes, we're going to tell that joke. It's great. In short, the progress made throughout the month of October has drastically increased our technological capabilities, and our client's influence on ACL system has allowed for tremendous progress to be made. Client client it's good we are expected to meet our client in person in as little as seven months you know the client who 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 goes Mary. This is the uh, uh, place where the, the gun shoot game. Jack, Dean, Mary, Dean. Jack and Dean are married. Or Jack and Mary are married. Crumbus. James Dean. I am surprised. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm surprised. Or our siblings, or both. This is Minnesota, though, so maybe not. Oh. Fucked up snowman. It's kind of hard to make, like, a perfect snowman. Screaming. Good. Santa's done with your shit. You are naughty, and he's taking his fucking lump of flesh. Ah. Ah. I saw toes. Feet.
Oh. Well. Well. Action. It's good. Are we just back to the party? It's fine now? Oh, okay. It's not okay now. Alex... Whitler and video videographer Jack Dean. <sighs> Mary. Yeah? She's a beautiful bride. There she is. Woodcrawlers are a tad shoggothy. They're more spidery than shoggothy. still hit it. Okay, well. Who's Mary then? Home invasion, help, and safety. That seems useful. That's good. Alright. Considering. It can be daunting and stressful prospect. This videotape is intended to ease your stress and prepare you for home invasion. Step by step, should the moment arise. Okay. Keep in mind. Windows and doors are the most common entrances during home invasions. And ensuring these areas are locked may prevent or slow in home invaders allowing for authorities to be called. Okay, cool. So lock the doors. Number of security systems can be installed in a home, including cameras, motion detectors, and alarms. All of these systems may be disabled via blunt force. Most home invasions take place at night. Sufficient lighting can successfully stop a home invader before they even reach the house. What's the following list of commonly used methods of entry during home invasion? Breaking a window can cause, uh, create easy access into a home. Note this will cause noise that may alert prey. Vocalizing or making percussive noises against the door may cause the prey to be drawn to it, allowing for easy access into the home. Burrowing underneath the home's foundation can create access into the home from below, allowing easy access from between nests. Okay. Falling will explain what to do upon entry into a home. This is... This is not advice that I need. Locate prey. Okay. Incapacitate prey. Looks like the mannequin thing. From... Enter prey via proboscis. Okay, good. Great. The prey. Practice mannequins? Well, there's the mannequin that followed, uh, that looked around in the, the gun shoot game, but also there was, um, the mannequin in that one explaining how, uh, they work. 
uh, like, what was it, uh, wood rot disease or something like that? Deep root disease, yes. I love the idea of aliens coming to Earth and then making VHS tapes for their kids <laughs> to explain how to do a home invasion. <laughs> Like, when you, when you try and kill the humans, you have to make sure you do it right. Try burrowing under the house. Okay. Oh, good. I think you can just leave now. You got the information you needed. The, the fake flashlight's a bit much, yeah. They're doing their best, though. It's not Walton Files. Hello. Oh, hi. That's what deep root disease does to you. Okay, so there's a lot of places you can get infected here. Why are you here? Okay. So that's a wood crawler. Pogbot, not the time. You freak. <sighs> I think it's applied that Jack is the person who made the first video too. That would make sense. He's a, uh, he's the guy from the, uh, the, 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 the weird animals video. It's very like 90s, 80s. It's great. Okay. Is that a real one? Oh, wait. No. I think this one might be fake. Supposed to be like, um, there's definitely no crusader. Okay. It's wild that we can just do this. You know, I mean, I know that's, uh, you can just like yeet a camera into, uh, space and we can take pictures and see all this stuff. We need to keep an eye out for October dates in here. I did play Outer Wilds. It's really good. Fake moon? Oh, hold up. Brackets do the frames.
Chiron. <laughs> Comma and... Because I have, like, caps lock on or something? Period and comma weren't working there. Ah, there we go. It was just a lot back. Uh, Saturn has 79 moons. That, I'm, I don't actually know how many moons the Saturn has, but I'm pretty sure it's less than 79. Um, each one with their own unique characteristics. During the mission, Crusader photographed two of these moons. Wait, how many moons does Saturn actually have? Oh, wow, it does just have an absolute shit ton of them. 82, what? So that was actually them lowballing by three? Saturn has 53 named satellites as of spring 2010 and has 62 moons that have been discovered. Uh, three pairs of Mimus Telus. Um, Indactylus Dion and Titan Hyperion have gravitational interaction that keep them stable. That's ridiculous. I mean, some of these just look like Hyperion just looks like a large asteroid or something. It doesn't look like round enough to be a, a moon. I mean, I guess like whatever, but like, you know, huh? Okay, sure. Titan is the moon that's almost Earth like really Titan. That one looks fucked up as shit. Wait, I saw it a second ago. Thin rear. Calypso. Hyperion. Janus. Kari. Mimus. Wait, where's Titan? I can't find Titan in this one anymore. I guess Saturn would have a bunch because it's just like a bunch of random ass rocks, right? Also, is this even one of them? Oh, I need to click more. There's a bunch that just have the name like... Okay, so... This is not one that's on NASA's website. This guy here. I don't know what the fuck this is. That doesn't look right. Assist, moon of Iris. We haven't... Imbolic, the moon of Vitreus. We're just making up planets now? Yuckus, moon of Iris. Can we, can we talk about that one? Space is haunted. I think that's the theme for tonight. Space is haunted. Meet planets. That's not a moon. Iris is the... Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, that's not a real planet. It's a it's a fake in this universe planet. But, I mean, like, can we talk about it? It's the, the, the giant thing that looks, right? I think some of these moons look like skinless testicles. Yes, his throne.
Bella spotted? Nope. Oh right, this is uh the, the crusader just still just going. Okay. Another grove. I mean, to be fair, I think most, uh, earth isn't special enough unless if you need water, you know what I mean? Uh, the spinal complex. So like most aliens are going to probably skip earth. It's pretty much only resource that has an abundance that you can't find elsewhere easier is like water. It has sea creatures. Sure. I mean, it's got fellas. Or plant life. Yeah. No, I love Earth. I'm just saying like aliens wouldn't want to invade Earth unless if they wanted those things. I'm not trying to like unhype Earth, but like, you know, I'm just saying like, you know. Fellas may be rare. I think fellas as a whole are rare in this universe. What the fuck? I haven't played the new Prey now. Crusader approaches Earth. Okay. Yes, those are exciting things. Who knows what's in store for Earth next? Who knows? Uh, so that's the series outside of a couple of videos, apparently, that are not in that playlist which has these two i don't know when these were posted they're a part of the series as well 35 degrees fahrenheit that's cold as shit it's like almost freezing Ah. Come. I'm Texan. Like, that's cold here. Curtis, come down to the camp this weekend. Bolton and I have devised a plan on how we can continue to uphold the deal without giving up these beings or poor demands. Richards has seen a bear lurking near the boys' cabins. We'll go out and shoot it. If the statue wants a sacrifice, it'll have to settle for this. I will be a pawn no longer. Curse. I will. I tell you this with complete sincerity. If I could do it over, I would have never made that deal. Iraq is 55 degrees in Celsius in the summer and 3 degrees Celsius in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like shit. I remember trying, uh, when I was a, a teenager, I was really into paintball. So I was in, uh, academy. I was looking at the paintball stuff and some guys came over and they, um, 
they were trying to recruit me to, to army guys. I've told the story before, but they were like, oh yeah, it's not that hot. Cause I was like, isn't it really hot over there? And they were like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, you just kind of sweat it off. You know, it's not that bad. Don't worry about it. Basically like paintball. It's like, bro, you're trying to recruit me for a war. I don't want to have anything to do with in, in a place that's hotter than here with no air conditioning. Like, nah, I'm all right. There's no part of this plan that sounds good to me. Do a thing I don't want to do in a place I don't want to do it. Yeah, the, uh, the army vehicles don't always have AC. It's also humid. I hate that. You get free, terrible VA healthcare. I mean, yeah. Anyone I've ever known who's had to use the VA is like, yeah, uh, I've been waiting for like 10 months to see someone about like this, this weird thing going on with my leg. I got it when I was overseas. Um, but, uh, they told me I have to go somewhere else. These all look... So these are peoples. And these are the peoples from... Uh, I think Darcy was in... Yeah, Mary. There it is. Darcy and Mary were both in the... Uh, the um, Christmas video. And the... Uh, answered the door when they shouldn't have. I was thinking Darcy. When uh, it came up. How can you even identify that as human? all part of the same thing photo comparisons suggest that exponential increase in organism deterioration since mutation become a bear organism has since lost all resemblance to a bear no shit no shit yeah that doesn't look like a bear to me Okay, so again, four minutes. Fairly consistent that it's four minutes. Excluding Jax, which was like three days? I think that's a fella. Do like a uh, prison window. Holding room design. Isn't that the bunker? Uh-huh. Metal door with feeding slot. Escape hatch. Six days into self-quarantine. So someone got infected with a uh, deep root disease and this is going to be a copyright claim. I know it. If it gets distorted around here, I apologize. It's going to be a jump scare. I only ever heard that song on, what was it? Back to the future? That's the VOD gone. Audio jungle. Earth Angel's a real song.
Oh, this is a different video. I think. Oh, no. Those two videos went together so seamlessly, I didn't notice when one started and the other one ended. 27 days into self-quarantine. I do respect Analog Horror for not having jump scares. Because I think jump scares are just cheap. Yeah, they tried to recruit me when I was like probably like 16 or so. I think next time we have to watch the Walton Files. Like, I know we don't want to, but I think we have to, right? But why? Because Joe is in the fucking garage. So, got turned into nature's mockery. You good in there? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? Staff are equipped with protective suits. Why don't you just put one of those drone things in there? Mostly are. <laughs> good. I like that he's reading Douglas Adams. That's a face. That one looks more fucked up than the uh, one from that one that Jack gets captured in. Yeah, I really don't like that. Is he okay? He's fine. Yeah. I mean, it looks fake, but still. An interview is performed to assess Barry Johnson's psychological state. Can you hear me? Yeah. An interview. Do you know who you are? You good, dude? Do you hear you? Okay, he's fine. I think it's just repeating back shit. Yeah. The interior of Barry Johnson is discovered to be occupied. Protective safety measures. Setting the whole shit on fire? And, uh, that... That's all of it as far as I'm aware. Uh, I think that's all of it. I mean, there's, like, music you can listen to. Uh, really solid series. Uh, I think we should do a thing. Um. Is Joe in the garage? Yes. Mostly. Mostly no. No. Uh. 
I don't think that Joe is in the garage on this one. I think they maybe had one Joe's in the garage moment in the entire fucking series. Like, I don't think that Joe is in the garage on this series. That's my personal take. I probably should leave my personal take until votes happen, but uh, I just like to get my vote in as well. Uh, but I feel like I'm also influencing the votes by saying that. I'm trying to think. There was one that was very like Joe's in the garage, but like there was a consistent theme throughout it. Um, the as much as I love the intruder, uh, like the home invasion video, like. When you think about it, it's a bit silly that they're, the aliens are making VHS tapes on how to do it. Uh, chat says, mostly no, Joe is not in the garage. Gonna need a recap for Joe is in the garage. Here's the meme. Uh, this is from Witch Doctor DB. Uh, and um, this is uh, a common trope in like... Analog horror. Zoom out. Yeah, let me fix that. Sorry. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Uh, welcome to Clever Pizza. Today we'll start with our typical training tape. Music stops. This is important. Music stops. And then the creepy face. And the scary messages, and he's like drooling blood. And then Joe's in the garage. This is definitely Walton. That's why we gotta watch it. Because people are saying, oh, this one is mostly not Joe's in the garage. You know? I did look at the mystery flesh pits. It'll be in the same playlist as uh, this video if you're watching on After Hours. But for you and chat, uh, I do have a playlist on uh, Rev Scarecrow After Hours if you want to watch that. Uh, I read it all on stream. Redo the poll. Redo the poll now that I've explained it. Is Joe in the garage? Uh, yes. Mostly. Mostly no, no. There you go. One more time for you. Because people did not understand it. While we're doing that, I'm going to check the borrow, see if there's any art. There doesn't appear to be. I'm not sure if there's just not very many artists in chat uh, recently or if there's just an uh, issue with the, uh, the borrow or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Joe's in the garage is a different thing than, uh, have you seen analog horror be like video? No, I have not. Artists are in the garage. Can't get into the borrow. Huh? So chat says mostly no with 76% of chat. Uh, I think the Boru might be fucked. Uh, it might be worth saying to uh, post more uh, the the art. If you have art, maybe post it on Twitter instead. Uh, when it comes to this kind of thing. And that way I can like retweet it. Oh, I'm getting a completely different set of... I saw something about butts. Rise of BBL. Why so many people are getting their butts enhanced. Okay. But, anyway. Um, that's it for that now. Um, I think that was the most horrifying thing. Uh, 
I don't know what that sentence means. I just saw a, a, a trending on mine, but not on the one with the private window, which is like, why Brazilian butt lifts? I don't know. I haven't clicked the article. It just popped up like, Hey, what's happening? Trending BBS BBL. Um, I have not seen, uh, Fennelson, uh, but, uh, I think, uh, I think I'm going to check out, uh, I think we got to try out Walton Files for maximum, uh, Joe's in the garage. They can take liposuction from other areas of the body and inject it into the butt. Thalcelin is the dorsalis. Okay, we've seen dorsalis. Yeah. Back rooms for minimum Joe in the garage. Sure. Uh, I think you should have a second opinion on Walton Files. I, I don't know what that means. Like, get someone else here? Don't just watch it by myself? There's no Joe in the back rooms. Mandela catalog. I, I feel like Walton Files is the one that I've seen that has the most Joes in the garage. Um... Get it another shot. We'll give it another go. We'll give it another go either way. But I think that's the next one we got to do. Because I keep talking about it. I keep saying, oh, I don't really care for it. But we should watch it. At least for just the, you know, like, um, context, you know? So we I don't have to go, oh, well, you know, you should watch it on your own. It's like, why don't we watch it together, man? <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go and go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be at, back at it tomorrow with uh, something than Metal Gear Rising. Or not Metal Gear Rising, Metal Gear Revengeance. Uh, but I, I, my throat's shot, so maybe we take like a half day or something tomorrow. We'll see. I'll tweet. I'll tweet. We'll, we'll find it out. But Metal Gear Rising, uh, I might start a little bit earlier than 5 just to get a little extra time in. Because Chad was saying it was like a 10-hour game or something. It's Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And then uh, Friday, if I get the code, I'm going to do um, the next Dread X. So more horror. Six to eight hours? Okay. I mean, there's a website called uh, How Long to Beat. It's a great website. If you're a streamer, use this website. Uh, Metal Gear... Uh, Rising Revengeance. Main story, seven hours. Uh, completionist, if you get all the little extra bits, 33 and a half hours. 11 hours for the main plus extra content. Probably the extra in this case is like the, the VR stuff. So I bet the main story is like seven. It's called How Long to Beat. Uh, super fucking helpful. Um, Elden Ring, for example. Uh, 50 hours. Super helpful if you're going to be a streamer. Because then you can go, okay, this thing's going to be 50 hours. I'm really going to put 50 hours into this stream? Like, is it really worth the time? Uh, how long does it take to beat off? Uh, it doesn't actually say. There's no information on how long it takes to beat off. <laughs> <laughs> Counter-Strike. What? <laughs> After 639 hours of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you'll have beaten it. You'll be fucking tired of that shit. Alright. Yeah. Fair. Uh, but anyway. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Brrr.